Hello, everybody. It's so wonderful to welcome you to the exclusive Promo Homo TV coverage of the unveiling of the Forever Maryland statue. It is the 20th of June, and uh, I am so excited that you're here. I'm about to turn the camera around so you can see all of the madness behind me, but I wanted you to understand sort of uh, how the broadcast was. Uh, I wanted to just show you the crowd in relationship to the actual statue. Uh, so uh, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for Hot in Palm Springs on Promo Homo TV right after this. Take me out. The day is coming to an end And my eyes are drawn to southern skies But I'll be coming, coming home soon Yeah, I'll be coming, coming home soon So here we are, just next to me, you might hear him a little bit is uh, former Palm Springs Mayor Jeff Torres, who is on the Palm Springs City Council. Thank him for his service and everybody in service to our local government. Um, uh, what's happening right now is in about 10 minutes, the official ceremony will be underway. Now, uh, I wanted you to know right now, I wanted to ask you to please share the broadcast, let other people know that it's happening, and uh, I would have really much appreciate it. Um, as we're waiting for the official event to happen, there are some certain things I want to tell you about. First of all, I'm operating this broadcast from an iPhone. So when I reach up to the phone like this, I'm actually logistically doing uh, important things that are related to the broadcast. Um, by the way, if my phone shuts down because it overheats, which I don't think it's going to do tonight, because there's a breeze and it was on ice right before the broadcast, uh, the broadcast will resume. I brought I brought ice. I brought ice. I brought ice, and uh, I'll cool down the phone and start the broadcast again. But if that happens, there is going to be a slight pause. So, um, for their support of my show, their longtime support of my show, I want to thank GAP Health. One of their value statements is, "We welcome all people." Period. They've been keeping people healthy since 1984. They've been keeping me healthy for almost 10 years, and I'm very grateful to that. Also grateful to the folks at 849 Restaurant and Lounge, Willie Ryan and John Pascal, who uh, are longtime supporters not only of me personally, but also of the show. So um, uh, I just wanted you to see this nice little shirt. <laughs> and uh, I want you to save the date as well. So I am an official media sponsor of Greater Palm Springs Pride, and I'm also going to be broadcasting this year's Pride celebration live in its entirety, not the Pride Parade. A multi-camera shoot of the Pride Parade will take place uh, on and around where I am on Palm Canyon nearby. The festival will be sort of in this venue. And uh, Pride Week is officially the first through the seventh, and um, there's all sorts of things going on here. But Palm uh, Pride Week is officially the 1st through the 7th, 2021 of November, of November. And uh, if you're going to want to experience the main event, you don't want to come here for the entire week unless you're able to. You want to come here for the weekend of the 5th, 6th, and 7th. The parade broadcast will be live worldwide on November 7th at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So you definitely uh, want to save the date for that. Go to pspride.org for more information. Promo Homo TV is also a media partner with the LGBT Community Center of the Desert. They're all about creating vibrant community by helping LGBTQ people along their way. If you're dealing with loneliness or isolation or depression like I'm prone to, then you definitely want to uh, check them out for sure. Um, Promo Homo TV merch is now on Amazon, as you can see. And uh, you can also go to promohomo.tv to find the merch. And if you, uh, uh, if you send a photo of you uh, in the merch, I might feature it on the show with your permission. Now, um, 
beginning uh, in late July, there will be a special episodic series on Promo Homo TV, checking, uh, focusing on my living powerfully with HIV and memoir, Life Positive, The Journey to the Center of My Heart. And in that book, I talk about my HIV testing safer sex awareness campaign, which you can uh, find by asking your smart speaker to uh, play The Power to Be Strong by Nicholas Snow. Now for a really promo homo uh, network, and then it's all about Marilyn. Um, I'm an actor, so if you're in casting, check out my acting clips at promohomo.tv slash actor. And uh, finally, this TV show, this network wouldn't be possible without the Promo Homo TV superstars, and I want you to see uh, more about them and who they are right now. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Bear with me. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Uh, the, the superstars wouldn't appreciate it that I put them in the dark. announced during the break that we're starting within five minutes, which is why I've come on the air early to bring this pre-show to you. And uh, I'm going to be back with uh, everything you want to know about this uh, iconic sculpture, including the controversy, as you can set behind me right now, right after this. So I'm going to turn the camera around and most of the time you're going to be seeing the official activities that are going on, but I want to just carry some of the remarks that have been made. So uh, Rock says yes. Robin from India is missing Palm Springs. David is here uh, with us. And um, Antonio says, hey, Nick. So that's an example of the fact that you can uh, uh, comment and I'll curate your comments during the show if you're watching live. And that reminds me of something else I want you to look at throughout the show, which I've started it now. All types, of, all sorts of interesting information that you'll want to pay attention to in the scroll down below. Uh, so be sure to do that. And um, I'm going to, what do I do next? Okay, fantastic. So, um, before I turn it around, I'm going to talk to you a little bit. Oh, I've left Antonio up forever. So bear with me, folks. I'm operating a complete live broadcast with a smartphone in a crowded event with the danger of um, the phone overheating and shutting down, although there's a very nice breeze. And uh, I got to thank Antonio down. Thank you, Antonio, for that. And uh, Keith Cornell is watching, and he says, stay cool. I couldn't be as cool as you, Keith. All right. So um, now some background information about what's going to happening, happening, and I probably will uh, be interrupted, and then I'll return to this information after we can. So, um, the protests are not the story, but uh, the protests completely against the statue by many and simply against the location by others, as well as approval of Forever Maryland's return by 70% of those surveyed as reported by local newscasts, 
is a testament to the power of art as well as the artist's original intent. With his Icons Revisited series, sculptor Seward Johnson captures images that have held their impact over generations, becoming embedded in our collective subconscious. This series asks the viewers to consider why certain images stay with us and how their meaning changes over time. Uh, did you get that? So this is one of the key points. This series asks the viewer to consider why certain images stay with us and how their meaning changes over time. So uh, PS Resorts, a nonprofit organization made up of local hoteliers to promote Palm Springs tourism through events and attractions, purchased a sculpture to bring her back to Palm Springs following her initial two-year exhibition from 2012 to 2014 here in Palm Springs. Inspired by the famous moment when Marilyn Monroe appeared with a white dress billow billowing aloft, the sculpture was a tourism phenomenon. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. Give me a moment. So the protesters are very much uh, making lots of noise. They're not having it. So, there we go. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
see everyone coming together here today to focus this moment as we recover from COVID. We've had a very difficult year together, and now we have this magnificent attraction here in the heart of Palm Springs. And we look forward to celebrating and sharing in this moment together as a community and for years to come. Thank you. Next is your person, Lisa Middleton. Good evening, Palm Springs. It is so good to have the Maryland statue back where she belongs, back in Palm Springs. When she was here the last time, Day or night, every time my wife and I drove by here, walked up, what we saw were people standing around and smiling and having a good time. And that is what is going to happen again. People are going to smile and enjoy themselves and have a good time. And I want to know how many of you are happy to be around people who are smiling. If there is anything that we need today, it is more smiles on the faces of the people that we encounter. And I want to thank all of the folks involved in the tourism industry, yes, for helping bring back this statue, this opportunity to smile. And with that, I just introduce my good friend and colleague, Jeff Court. Hello, everyone. So, as we end on to our great neighbor, Paula, to make sure that all our tourism organizations are going to I'm so thrilled that we are bringing Forever Maryland back where she belongs in Palm Springs. This is her home. I mean, you know, coming out of the recession, the difference she made, how many businesses she saved. And having done a little travel in Southern California and seeing places where 50% of the businesses is closed, ours are not like that because our council has some additional moratorium for businesses. And why from a 15 months back rent to pay, we got to make sure that our residents and our tourists come to our great new downtown, spend money, and not stay home with us so our business can survive. So I'm so thankful to all the business organizations and tourism organizations and especially TS Resorts and I've got that to carry so much of these beautiful businesses that support Maryland and really need her to get out of what the last 15 months have done. So thank you for coming out. It's a great night. It was Sunday on the mountain. Beautiful. And we're going to go spend some money in our stores and restaurants. And please welcome my friend, Council Member Dennis Wood. For those at home, I'm going to take my name off the screen, but I can't from my phone. I don't know. Hello, Paul Springs. Yeah. I'm thrilled to be here today to welcome you as we celebrate the return of Forever Maryland, once again in our beautiful downtown. This area where the sculpture is located in the heart of downtown has always, always, always meant to be a walkable hub. With an array of fantastic installations like David Charity's Baby over here, a plethora of ultra cool public art and murals surrounding us right now. The gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, Seal Isabella's uh, sculpture that's next to the Rowan Hotel. It's absolutely wonderful to see how vibrant this area has become. And with the grand opening of our downtown park here this fall, in the incubator, we expect the entire area of the surrounding museum ways to be really the center of everything that is Palm Springs. I'm on the phone right now. People are outside shaking. A big thank you goes to PS Resort for recognizing that this sculpture should be the centerpiece in the heart of the art hub. It is an important part of the resurgence of. Palm Springs. Thank you. Yeah. 
you know, it takes a lot of effort to get up here. So can we give a round of applause to all of the council members who are just was inspired by the famous photograph taken by Bruno Bernard, known as Bernard of Hollywood in his heyday as one of the preeminent photographers of Hollywood's golden era. His history with Marilyn Monroe started when she was still Norma Jean, and he became a dear friend of her over the years as he photographed her. Today, we have with us a very special guest, Joshua John Miller, Bernard's grandson who is now chairman of the Bernard and Hollywood brand. Thank you. Put Ella on the map. 
Over the years with Marilyn Rock and Cocaine, she and my grandfather stayed good friends. The relationship leads to the iconic picture that inspired the statue before us today. The second year itch, a movie Marilyn was shooting, was doing reshoot on the Fox lot. Unfortunately, for two reasons, it had to be reshot. Her husband, Joe DiMaggio, was not happy that she was letting her skirt fly in the wind. But Marilyn being Marilyn does what Marilyn wanted to do. So she did Tootsie Tape. Later, they reconstructed the whole set for the Senorich on the 20th Century Fox lot. And my grandfather was invited to join her and be the only photographer allowed on the set. This time, the effect worked. When the breeze made Marilyn start to rise, she laughed, and my grandfather snapped the picture that would cement her not only as a star, but as a legend. <laughs> that night, she would tell my grandfather to never forget she had become Marilyn, partly because of his support and his belief in her, and home free. Her words to my grandfather were all started with me. So, in many ways, Marilyn started here in Palm Springs. So it's fitting that she's back again. I'm grateful to have grown up under the shadow, literally, of Marilyn Monroe my whole life. And it's taught me as a queer person to fight for my rights mm -hmm. as a human being. And that Really, um, you know, Marilyn always used to say, they would say, well, do you want to be an actress? Well, everybody wants to be an actress in Hollywood. But I'm dreaming the hardest. I was Marilyn. She fought the hardest. Um, I want to thank the people involved for allowing me to be part of this dedication. I hope this statue continues to be something special for the city. Um, I know my mother and I know my grandfather would be very proud that this was Santa Paul and what my grandfather calls his home, Tom Free. And thank you to Stuart Johnson for creating a wonderful homage to his photograph. Happy Father's Day, Grandpa, and to all the fans. Finding all of this rich history that not only surrounds Maryland, but also our family. Next, I'd like to invite us Scott White, the president and CEO of the Greater Hungary Convention and Visitor Bureau, an agency that is vital to our tourism industry. Scott and his team will be internationally promoting the arrival of Forever Maryland as a reason, as yet another reason. To come and visit Palm Springs. Thank you. 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 It provides an employment. Over 50,000 people rely on tourism, whether it's a career or a bridge or while they're going to school. It provides opportunities for individuals to start their first restaurant, a hotel, an attraction, or an event. We think all the fabulous events that have been started in this destination because of what tourism has allowed them to do. It provides support for police, fire, education. If we didn't have tourism, we all have to pay more taxes every year to have the amenities and the services that we have here today. Tourism attracts people from all over the world. It runs our culture and our diversity. Tourism is about creating memories, escaping the reality, and enhancing our health, our mental health. Tourism is about the quality of life. Without tourism, we wouldn't have the incredible opportunities to explore these restaurants, stores, attractions and all of these amenities that we have here in this wonderful city. But tourism is competitive. People have a choice on where they can go, whether it's a weekend or a vacation or a long-term winter escape. 
We're always looking for new experiences. We're always looking for another opportunity to shoot that memorable opportunity that snaps on a Instagram and Facebook. It's vital that as a destination that we keep evolving, changing, and trying new approaches. We must be exciting and new. The majority of our business in California are that's changing. With the addition of Southwest Airlines and all the flights coming from New York and around the country, we're seeing a, a shift in who the people are that are coming here and how long they stay. We're becoming a year-round destination. Look at all of you. Thank you for being here. Fantastic. We all benefit when the destination provides new experiences. We become more authentic, more welcoming, and we want to grow our economy. Because a successful tourist destination is diverse, inclusive, unique, and all welcoming. Forever Maryland is an important addition to our community and our tourism economy. It tells the world that we are different, we are unique, and we are special. On behalf of the tourism industry of the entire valley, we thank everyone for your time. To all of you for supporting this wonderful addition to our community. Now, it's a great pleasure to introduce a man that really doesn't need an introduction. He's been here for over three decades. He loves the city. He loves tourism. He loves all the work that he proposed. He is passionate about what he does. He's the chairman of CS Resort. He's been involved with the CBD for as long as we can remember. And without Aptad data, we certainly will not have the success that we have today. With that, I'd like to thank you. And just a reminder, I put in blue ice against my phone. This is how come it's something to do. Good evening, everyone. And if you're watching, I would also like to thank a lot of Karen, thanks for watching. I'm if you're watching live, you tell me about how the side cam shots look when I throw the, when I put the camera way up in the air. How's that coming across? Karen Devine, I love you. Thanks for watching. And we are from the city any places for your continued support for the last three months. Our Palm Springs Police Department and Fire Department. <laughs> Our Palm Springs Engineering Department to help us get all the permits and everything to make this happen. 
There is also one more very special person at the City Hall. And what can I say about this rock star, Justin, and all the council ladies, Susan, our three Jack, let me check you. The past two weeks, she was off on her vacation time. And she spent hours and hours with us to make this beautiful evening happen. So Jasmine, where are you? I can feel thanks to me and from the board of the Ethnical. Additional few thank you notes to Harold Master, Greg Noble, Chris Lucker, and then there are five other very special people that own this building behind you. Michael Brown, Peggy Clark, Octavia Fernandez, Eric Fernandez. Thank you so much for all the hours of time to send today to us. Nona Watson. Nona, thank you so much for your continued support. I would also like to thank the entire board of Fiat Resort. Without your support, honestly, this would not happen. So thank you so much for supporting the vision of the Fiat Resort. Especially the executive board, Celeste Bradley, Stephen Marsland, Robert Hahn. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. And now, a very special person that has been the executive director of PS Resort. Without her, honestly, this would not have happened. And that is Tamar Stevens. Hundreds and hundreds of hours dedicated. She was at Big Bear Lake, drove in this morning to make sure this thing is perfectly done. I would like to thank Andrea Copper, our CI virtual. So thank you, Andrea and Mark Anderson from the Bus Factory here. Thank you for doing that too. Also, special shout out and thank you. We have formed a Forever Maryland Committee in the city of Palm Springs. And I know quite a few folks are here. So thank you, thank you, and thank you for your commitment and continued support on making this happen. Two other very special persons that were very much architect behind this. My good friend who also got today a haircut, Bruce Hoban, and our attorney, Diane Blanket. Now we move on to the folks behind the statue. As you know it, the statue was owned by the Stephen Johnson statue. So all of Turkey had temperatures, couldn't make it, but Paula's assistant, Anna Haley, thank you. I would also like to thank Adam, Karina, and the staff that spend eight days in this heat and extreme temperature. They even had to work late at night, early hours of the morning to paint her at four in the morning. But thank you, the crew that put together and looked that so beautiful. Rob Hunter of the Palm Springs Bureau of Tourism. Rob, I know you are on vacation, but thank you on behalf of the Convention Center in Palm Springs, Bureau of Tourism. There are also some other great volunteers. I sit down. I'm going to end it in a few minutes. <laughs> Doug and Brett Stevens, the other half of Tamara Stevens, and the PS Mounted Police and search and rescue team that brought in a beautiful 
good deeds, and they get a lot of work behind the scenes to make this happen. One moment. I would also like to thank Kim Olin from Olin Security that helped us secure in Forever Maryland. So thank you so much. If you haven't watched the scroll on the bottom of your screen, please give, it, give it a read. Important information I want you to know. From last minute from Rodney Hart, executive director of the Pride, who brought in a dozen volunteers. So I want to personally thank those volunteers for helping us this evening in a very short notice. Thank you. We were struggling for a decade. We were not finding anyone good. My good friend Harold said, Arthur, call up Gopi Sanda from Golden Ward. I made one call and we were able to get the number one DJ in the Coachella Valley, Al Alpha. So Al, thank you so much. I, I hope you will play a spectacular background music when we make the announcement to give this present to the citizens of Palm Springs and the Telegram. And guess what? We also have, in a minute, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, if you look towards that time, we will have a beautiful flyover, courtesy of Fred Bell and the Palm Springs Art Museum. So wait for that. We should have any minute. And I send the phone again for those that have I want to thank all of you. I'm sorry, my name is on the screen throughout the show. And that was designed for the beginning of the broadcast, and I don't yeah. know how to remove it. Where is that point? Beautiful. The planes are on their way, and that's what we're doing. We're stalling. Oh, I think I heard the planes. So I'm going to show up. There they are. Well, that went by fast. Thank you again, Fred Bell. And now, everybody's been waiting for. Palm Springs, this is for you. Michael Valley, this is for you. So thank you so much. We want to thank all of you for attending. Part of this very special evening on behalf of the city of Palm Springs and me as a director. I also like to thank all of our speakers for being here. Sharing I'm their just changing the camera. This is such an exciting thing. I'm going to show up in just one moment. One moment. Bear with me. I'm just change the camera angles. The camera is uh, stuck. I'm hoping that you can still hear me. Oh, shoot. Oops. Just a second. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry about that. I was trying to... So what's happening is they're about to let everybody in and uh, so um, here's the statue. 
Hey, I'm live. This is a statue, as you can see, the sculpture. And I'm going to actually go and I'm going to show you the angle, the angle from the museum. So, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to walk back toward the museum. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. I'm going to walk back toward the museum. Well, I'm going to just show you uh, different, so people are going to get mad at me for showing you up the skirt, but that's just the only vantage point I have. Oops. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what camera I'm on. Oh, it switched, it switched sides again. All right, so uh, this is the one of the controversial shots that people don't like. The fact that you can see uh, up Maryland's skirt. Um, and uh, now we're going to walk back so you can see the uh, view of Forever Maryland from the vantage point of the direction of the art museum. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to attempt to collapse the tripod while I hold the camera so I can move through the, the crowd and get people's um, vantage points. So now what's happening is protesters have just gotten into everybody's photo op. They've gotten into everybody's photo op in the back. So that's what's happening. And I am still going to work to shut down my tripod. That's what I'm doing. Excuse me, sir. Would you hold my camera for just a moment? I'm live. It's live. Just hold it. All you have to do is hold it, point it. I'm putting uh, my tripod away. Thank you. What's your name? Eddie. Eddie, thank you. Are you on the AB, the AB crew? You're, you're no, by the booth. Okay, well, thank you so much. We're live. I want to thank you to Eddie for the, the uh, special... Okay, that's done. Okay, I have no idea what this is about. Right. Okay. Thank you, Eddie. Smile. Thank you, Eddie. All right. So now what, what is happening is I'm Nicholas Snow. My pronouns are he, him, and his. And you can see the, uh, you can now see the name where it's supposed to be under my face. Um, so those are protesters. I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about now. I've done a good job of telling their story in all the press leading up to this, and it's also in the text associated with this video. They wanted to they wanted to vote out the photographer. Okay. Hi Haley. Thank you so much for being here. I, I was live the whole time and Karen Devine said in, in the comments that you look beautiful. Yes, okay, thank you. Nice. Thank you, Haley. So this is the magic of uh, new technology. I'm right now live on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And uh, I am... Uh... Hey, how are you? Did you see Sharon Javier's here dressed? No, I, I'll look. I'll look. So you were one of the Palm Springs Pride volunteers. Tell you ball. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy everybody. Thank you. you look lovely. So I just want you to know my name is on the screen for the whole show. I can't do anything about that, and I apologize. So these are the photo ops. Everyone has uh, poured in. I'm actually going to curate your comments. I'm going to see if any of you have made fresh comments. Um, 
I don't have any fresh comments from those of you watching. Hi, Deanne. Deanne, I don't remember the lace trim on him before. I don't know, but you've just whispered into my broadcast. Um, I really don't know. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that was Bella Duvall who wanted to know that. Of course, Bella Duvall is a famous uh, drag queen. Oh my God, Lindsay! How are you? Nice to see you. We're live, and I'm not going to call you by the wrong name. Jerry Keller. So we have, yeah, I'm live. So I have Jerry Keller and his daughter Lindsay, and uh, this isn't this exciting. Well, you know, um, your family uh, uh, has been very supportive of our valley for a long time and of this show for a long time. Your late wife, Barbara, who uh, I know it's probably painful to hear her brought up, but she was a huge champion of mine. And, uh, and uh, yeah, she's just an amazing person. And I always remember her whenever I can. I remember her every second of every day. Of course you do. Of course. Of course. Of course. Well, um, I look forward to uh, people pouring into Lulu uh, after they come to Maryland, and I'm sure you're looking forward to that, too. Exactly. Thanks for talking to me. Have fun. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, well, I didn't have COVID, but yes, the pandemic. Yeah, the, yeah, the pandemic has been fantastic. Yeah. And keep up all your fantastic work advocating for so many important causes. Yes. I have event envy every time I look at your Instagram feed. Oh, I know. You're working all the time very hard. Thank you so much. Bye, Jerry. So uh, the Keller family owns Lulu California Bistro and Aqua California Bistro. And they've been longtime supporters of my show. Uh, historically, my primary restaurant sponsor now, as I as I celebrate, is 849 Restaurant and Lounge. So we have, of course, a Maryland impersonator, and uh, uh, Marconi has commented. Hi, Marconi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. If any of you are still watching, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. If any of you are still watching who were watching when I was doing the aerial shots, please tell me how those looked. I'm really excited to know. I'm going to get out of this crowd, out of the photo ops, and move. Brian, thank you for watching. I appreciate that uh, you've watched live. And uh, I'm so glad that the broadcast didn't get uh, turned off during the show. I used blue ice, all sorts of things. So this is the advantage of Maryland from here. Joy, Joy Meredith. We're, we're live. I'm good. How are you? No, I'll hold this. I, I hope that's working. Well, we'll find out. Um, I, uh, I put... Yes, I've been, yes, I, my phone is on ice throughout the show. So um, you're a part of the, the, what is the official name of the downtown uh, association? Um, and, so, so what do you, what do you feel, uh, just a second. Uh, so what do you think, uh, what do you think about the return of Maryland?
Well, thanks for all you do. You're welcome. So I really don't know for those of you that. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I I really don't know for those of you who are um, watching if if that works for me to hold one of my Arab pods in front of someone I was talking to. So could let me know if that works. Also, when I tried to change the camera angles, did the uh, broadcast completely stop, or were you still hearing me but just not seeing the camera? I'd love to know that as well. So um, I just want to take a moment to let you know that uh, while I used to do these single camera broadcasts uh, all the time, uh, they would only show up on Facebook, and I wouldn't be able to have graphics or video rollings or any of that stuff. And um, that was uh, uh, that was what I used to do. Then during the pandemic, because I couldn't leave anywhere, I expanded my technology so uh, I could do network television style broadcasting from my home studio and internet uh, uh, interview people from all over the world. Uh, so that's um, what I'm doing today is the integration of both of that. And I want to give a shout out to the uh, organization StreamYard, excuse me, the company StreamYard. I use their technology and that has allowed me to actually go live using only a phone with a fully functional broadcast studio to multiple destinations. So uh, I want to give uh, just an acknowledgement to StreamYard. And hey, how are you? And I also want to uh, very much thank uh, all of you for watching. I'm going to show you the crowd again. And um, I'm not ending the broadcast, but it occurred to me that at the beginning of the show, I forgot to play the opening. And it has some important information about kind of the mission behind the show. So I want you to watch that. I might have actually played that at the beginning. I don't remember. And uh, so it is free for you to watch this show on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and all episodes are at the actual website, filmmoney.tv, and that's free. But if you want to uh, support the show financially, you can subscribe for as little as $3 a month. Uh, there are higher levels as well. And when you do that, you become a Promo Homo TV superstar. And uh, I acknowledge you in a variety of ways. For example, the five most recent uh, uh, patrons in each category are promoted in a video in the show. And everyone who becomes uh, a Promo Homo TV superstar is listed at the website, promohomo.tv, in the superstars section with a link to the website or social media uh, platform and profile of your choice. So I want you to know that. And uh, while we show off this photo op, by the way, the, the person on the very left is David Lee, the creator of the TV show Cheers. Uh, that's a Hollywood person. And let me see if I can talk to him. Um, I'm, just, I'm gonna try to talk to him. Hey, David, David, can I talk to you on camera? No, okay. No problem. Thank you. I was asked if I can interview someone. He doesn't want to be interviewed. No problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce you to the superstars.
uh, I wanted you to know I did seek out the protesters at the beginning of the uh, evening before I went live. And I invited some of them to find me after the ceremony uh, and let them know I would interview them. That did not happen. Uh, they, the, the people I spoke with specifically did not come up to me. But I've done my best to report their perspective uh, in my uh, advanced promotion of today's broadcast and also in my uh, uh, text that's part of every one of these particular videos leading up to this exciting day. Um, and I don't want to uh, push my luck because I broadcast for over an hour in over 100 degree heat and uh, the phone did not overheat. Of course, I was icing it throughout the broadcast. Thank you again. Until next time, I'm Nicholas Snow. This is Promo Homo TV. Oh, look, y'all want to see the picture. Oh, my God. <laughs>